Welcome. So what I want to do is show you how to evaluate for the cosecant of theta when theta when cosecant of theta equals I'm sorry evaluate for theta when cosecant of theta equals two times radical three divided by three. Now before when we found sine and cosine it was kind of simple because we just had to relate to those what the coordinate points were on the unit circle. But cosecant of theta is not a, it's a given point in the unit circle. It's actually the reciprocal of our sine. So what I need to do is look at what reciprocal of my of my coordinate points for y would represent square root of 3 divided by 2. So what I do is I'm just going to kind of take the reciprocal of 1 half. That's not going to be 2 times radical 3 over 3. Square root of 2 to radical 3, that's not going to have a square root of 3 in there. But what about if I took 2, or square root of 3 over 2, and I made that the reciprocal? Therefore, by rationalizing the denominator, I do get 2 radical 3 over 3. So therefore, that means cosecant of theta, when it equals 2 radical 3, that is the same thing as sine of theta when sine of theta equals square root of 3 divided by 2. So therefore, my theta is going to be the, exactly the same. So now what I need to do is to understand is what are the coordinate or what is the angles for angle is theta when my sine of theta is equal to square root of 3 divided by 2 because that's the same as the cosecant of 2 radical 3 over 3. Well, we look at this first angle. We say, all right, that first angle um, is going to be pi over 3. Now, where else, though, do we have a y-coordinate of square root of 3 divided by 2? Well, the next point, if I was going to kind of continue my unit circle here, is going to be reciprocal over the y-axis. Now, why would I not want to reciprocate over the x-axis? Because if I reciprocate over the x-axis, these coordinate, my y-coordinates will now be negative. But if I ref reflect it over the y-axis, I'm now going to still have a positive, um, positive y-coordinate. So therefore, I just need to determine, what is this angle? Well, if this is pi thirds, the next angle over is going to be 2 pi over 3. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Those are your two theta between 0 and 2 pi, where your cosecant of theta is equal to 2 radical 3 divided by 2. Thanks.